How's it going everyone? Uh, this is Tanner and I'm back for uh, the second water change Wednesday. Uh, I just got done with all of my water changes and today I'm not actually going to be talking about a species but a piece of equipment that I just got the other day or yesterday. Uh, this is a Finex light um, 26 watts 65k bulbs. Um, there's actually three of them in there and I got this because it looks better and it's more wattage than the two desk lamps. Um, as you can see it's also a whiter light which I think looks a lot better actually. Um, this light is all plastic which I wasn't necessarily expecting. Um, it wasn't too expensive though. Um, it was like 40 bucks or a little less on Amazon. Um, it's a nice little light. has like I said, 26 watts, and it has three uh, 65k uh, power compact fluorescents in there. Um, it also has moonlights, which I can show you right here. So there's the moonlights. It's kind of tough just because I have my lights on, but those are the moonlights. So, I mean, there's only two LEDs. But all in all, I like this fixture pretty well. Um, mounting it to a rim tank is a little difficult. Um, Usually people will take this bracket and they'll actually flip it around because this swivels like that. And they'll actually flip this backwards, which I did try, but I didn't get enough lighting just across the whole thing. See how this light is just pretty much right in the middle, so I'm getting lighting all over. Um, when I had it this backwards, I couldn't get it far enough over. So I had to figure something out temporarily until I can really fix it. So what I did is I stuck in two tees on either side, golf tees, because what was happening is the light, or this bracket, when you tighten up these screws, it would push it forward, and it ended up tipping into the water, or about to tip into the water. So what I do is I keep tightening it, and it just turn farther and farther. So what I did is I threw in some tees, because that just kind of helps to stop it from tipping. What I'm actually going to do is, it's kind of tough to see, but the bracket goes up, or it goes down from there. What I'm going to do is actually create like a stopper, so then when you tighten these, it can't, it can't tilt at all. It's going to, you know, it's going to stop, because that bracket does go down, which I could, I could like build something on there, so. But all in all, I really like this light. Um, if you have any nano tanks or anything, I highly suggest it. Uh, it's made for the Finex, I believe, four gallon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it works really well. They also have a half and half actinic one for salt water. Um, so, I mean, if anyone out there likes salt water and would like to do a nano, um, this light would be perfect. But I really like this light, and I would highly suggest it. So. But uh, that's the Water Change Wednesday. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll try to do a species next week. I just got in this light, so I thought you guys might like to see it. But it works pretty well. Once I, you know, fix it permanently, then I'll be a lot happier with it. But otherwise, it's been working well. Um, as you can see, it really lights up the tank well. So, But uh, I'll keep the videos rolling. Um, try to get some more update videos going since I've only been showing the 2.5 lately, but I'll try to get some updates going. But right now, I've got to go ship out some moss to someone out in California. Um, I'm actually going to be only selling through Aquabid now, um, aquabid.com. I will post a link to some cherry shrimp that I'm actually selling right now on there. So you guys can check that out and bid if you want but uh, I'll post the link so you guys can see it. But uh, I'll see you next time, and uh, keep working on your tanks.